Right, YouTube. Oh, let's get comfortable in the floor today. Right. Doing a very quick video on my uh, on my solar go box. Um, if you've not seen it before, it's just a blue plastic case uh, which you just use to store jump leads. I don't know why they're in such a big case. But anyway, uh, I come across the case a while ago. It was getting thrown out by someone, so I thought I'd have it. And I had in there uh, a battery charge controller, a couple of sockets. Um, I wasn't convinced to say for strong enough, that the case was strong enough. Um, and I was given a pelican case. And I decided to swap everything over to the pelican case. Now I'm making this video now because um, if I make one at the end and I've done it, everyone wants to see it being built and how I'm doing this, that and the other. Um, so yeah, pelican case, um, it's about a foot, 10 inches, I don't know, not a great deal one, but about 8 inches deep, well, 7, 8 inches deep. Um, don't know the model I make of it. All I know is it's still airtight and it's still got the pressure release valve at the top. So what I'm going to do is, I haven't done it yet, I think it's here loose, um, case slides off this one, the front case, which is good. I've got the old charge controller in there, pilot socket, and uh, some new ones I ordered online, turned up a couple of weeks ago. I've just been too busy to do it. Right, so I haven't done it yet, but um, charge controller is going to go there. A USB and 12 volt socket are going to go there, obviously. Then that's going to go on that side for the solar panel to plug in. And then this bit of wood I just nipped out yesterday and got a, a shelf, cut it down to size. I'm going to Velcro, sticky Velcro this to the battery because the battery is actually st stuck with the same Velcro to the inside of the box and it's not falling out. It's not going to go anywhere. The box is only ever going to go this way up when it's being used. Obviously the face plate, plate and the sockets or in transport it's going to be laying down. Uh, but that was my biggest concern. My biggest concern was how do I drill secure everything um, without knackering up the um, the integrity of integrity of the there. Let's get my words swambled up. <laughs> without fucking up the case. <laughs> integrity. All right, um, moving on. So yeah, um, what I've drawn out, three holes for the sockets. I'm going to screw that on there. So the wires, I've got that raised with a bit of wood on the back because um, obviously the height of the battery, all the wires are going to have to come through here, behind the controller, and in for the bottom because I want all the wires hidden. So I'm going to screw that on there, drill out the holes, velcro that to the battery, and it'll be done. The most simplest thing ever, there'll be no inline fuses. There's an inline fuse in here, which is soldered directly to the board. It's just a 10 amp fuse. Um, and that's all I'm going to go by. I'm not going to bother putting fuses on these. Um, this is like six quid, I think. It's got a 2.1 amp and a 1 amp, so it'll do a uh, smartphone and run LED lights. Um, that's going to go directly to the battery um, for obvious reasons. And, and that's it, really. All right, I'm going to get on, go find a drill a bit bigger as big as these because these are bigger than that one. Uh, that's an inch and a half, and this is like an inch and three quarters, I think, quite wide. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to probably go nip out and buy a new drill bit just for those things. Right, I'm going to go make a mess, get some noise. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. The case, if I am out in the field, takes up a bigger surface area than obviously the bottom of the box. Get that out so it don't fall out. So if I'm on the uneven ground, um, I can stand that on there. Ta-da! Right, we'll see you in a bit when I've um, plumbed it all in. There we go, everything's screwed in. I've just got to uh, wire it up. Right, so as always, I'm not a sparky, I'm not a professional electrician, uh, I'm just a hobbyist. Um, this is not how to do it, this is just how I'm doing it. There are no fuses, so I'm going to get a thousand and one comments saying no fuses. Um, it's just bits of wire that I had actually laying around in the bottom drawer of the toolbox. Um, so, right, it's getting dark now. So I'm going to put the light on up here, plug this in, and we'll see if it goes bang.